And today marks four days since Joe Esquivel went to work at Columbia Machine in Smithsburg and left after shooting four of his colleagues, turning the world upside down for such a small, close-knit community. Three people died in that shooting, and tonight, Alex Suarez joins us live after speaking exclusively with loved ones. Lex, you're in Hagerstown right now, which is where one of the victims, Joshua Wallace, lived, and you spoke with Taylor, his girlfriend, someone who called Joshua her soulmate. Now, we want to share and learn more about Joshua's life, and I can say for all of us that we've all been thinking about her and his family, and we can't imagine what they've been going through. How is she doing? Yeah, this mean it's heartbreaking. She's absolutely devastated and actually said that today is the first day she's really gotten out of bed or talked to people since she found out what happened. But she said it's important to her to tell Joshua's story and she wants people to know what an amazing man he was. It feels like my heart's been ripped out of my chest. Heartbreak, a feeling that has numbed Taylor Toms for the past four days. Everything stopped. Um, everything was going forward around me, like everything kept moving on, but my world was stopped. That was around 2.30 on June 9th, the moment a gunman shot and killed her boyfriend, Joshua Robert Wallace, and two others at Columbia Machine in Smithsburg. It still doesn't feel real. And I feel numb. He was supposed to be my forever, you know? Sharing his story with me, talking about Josh, is the first time she smiled since finding out what happened. And he was amazing. He was such a good, patient, genuine, gentle, kind man. A man whose impact is being shared across social media and with Taylor. It's, it's kind of overwhelming. It's like uh, all these people I've never even met, but they're all telling me all these beautiful stories about Josh, and, um, and it's amazing. While the hole he leaves will never be filled, Taylor is finding peace in her faith and in daily Bible verses like the one that popped up on that fateful day. Jesus said we are blessed when we mourn. It's confounding to those who have never known loss or known it with you as their comforter. But to me, it is beautiful truth. Only in my deepest pain did I grasp the depth of your love. Then I could feel even a minute of joy while suffering the loss of someone. I love so dearly was a gift so sweet. It could only have come from you. And to the man who took Josh's life, Taylor says he's in her prayers. I hate that he took the love of my life from me, but I can't, I can't hate him. Hating him or wanting him to die or losing his life or for him to suffer is not going to bring my Josh back to me. Well, the fate of that shooter, Joe Esquivel, is in the hands of the judicial system now. He did have his first appearance in court today, and a judge decided to hold him without bond. Live in Hagerstown, Lex Suarez, WDVM 25. Taylor, we grieve with you, and we are so sorry for your loss. Um, you can watch this whole story on our website at localdvm.com as well. And there's also a GoFundMe page where people can donate for funeral services.